and hello good people of the internet, it is I, Tommy Kelly. This is Adventures from Wubu. This episode is just talking about a magical challenge that uh, I have set up to start this Wednesday. I know it's a wee bit last minute, but there's literally zero preparation you really need to do for it. So what is it? So being that Lent is starting on Wednesday with Ash Wednesday, where all the Catholics go around with the, the ash on their head, um, I thought I would steal it a bit and um, use these 40 days for some chaos magic. I had intention, uh, and initially uh, the intention was to do a 30, another 30-day 30 challenge, but as it came around at the same time as Lent, I said, why not just kind of steal a bit of the, the Christian thunder as it was? I'm calling it the Chaos Quadragesima. I think I'm pronouncing that right, probably not. And Quadragesima just means yeah, Lent, 40 days, or, uh, you know, that sort of thing, it's Latin. And the idea is that every single day you're going to do a sigil. And that's it. That's the very basic of it. And if you do no more than that, then, that, you know, that's the challenge done. But I've also added a few other bits in a post that will be in the show description below. Um, one of the, the, the main thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to follow like a kind of an elemental rotating pattern. So on day one, I'm going to start with earth. So I'm going to do a sigil that's somewhat based on earth. So, you know, something around um, shelter. Business, money, home, you know, homestead, family, you know, earth being the very kind of material, physical material plane, where it's the very basic needs met of, you know, being able to feed yourself, water yourself, uh, shelter yourself, uh, have, you know, family around you, all that kind of stuff. So then the next day I'm going to go then to air. Air is kind of like your intellect, your thinking, your logic, um, that kind of stuff. Next day we have fire, which is like ambitions or um, can also be anger, destruction. You know, it's kind of, there is an emotional bit to it as well, whereas water's, you know, kind of the opposite emotions in many ways. But passion would be a good word for the fire element. So anything around ambition would be a good uh, sigil target. As I said, water is around emotions. So you have happiness, you know, depression, sadness, joy, uh, equanimity, all of these type of things where you're more feeling the world than you are thinking logically. So the opposite of the air kind of element where you're more, you know, sensing your way through it, how it feels, whereas with the air element, it's more you know, logically thinking what makes sense on paper. The fifth element, of course, is the elusive spirit or eater or any number of other words that people sometimes use for it. And this can be whatever you want. Um, everyone has a kind of different kind of idea of what spirit is, I suppose, and you can have, you know, use it as a connection to divinity if you see the world that way. Or you can see it energetically, like you would have like a chi or, you know, the vril, I suppose, or uh, any of these, uh, you know, energy things like that you have in Reiki or that, you know, your Stuart Wilde talks an awful lot about, you know, the eteric and sort of the theosophy and stuff like that. But, you know, this kind of energy, spirit, God force that, you know, goes through it. So you could see it in that way, or you could just see it as in some way connecting with your soul, your higher self, or whatever. Up to you, whatever way it is. This kind of, or just suggestion, of course. So then every five days, six days, I suppose, uh, you're going to repeat, and that'll be a total of eight times to make up to 40. And so you could see that each of them as separate shoals in the kind of rune soup sense of what a shoal is. Again, that, the links for, if you don't know what that is, will be in the blog post that is in the show description. Or you could see the entire thing as a shoal. You could see it as none of it as a shoal and could stay away from shoals altogether if you don't like that idea. Um, you know, see it as one big work or all separate. You could kind of keep the elements together, uh, have a team going through them or not. You know, all that's kind of, as I say, just for suggestion just to kind of give it a bit more interest than just trying to do 40 sigils, because you can find after probably about 10 sigils that you're going to go, I don't know what to do anymore. But at least if you have some sort of layout or some sort of map, that might make it easier to come up with 40 different targets. I'm also going to do where I'm going to give up drink alcohol for the 40 days, for many reasons. One, I could probably do with a bit of a break. <laughs> the lockdown drinking in Ireland has become... Uh, uh, something that we all seem to enjoy and so maybe 40 days wouldn't be so bad for my level but also being that the kind of um the idea of a lent or of the 40 days is that you know it's for fasting and praying and you know that kind of uh in a sense sacrifice or something for something higher so i'm also going to do my omad which is one meal a day which i kind of do most of the time anyway but be a bit more stringent with it and maybe count calories so there's a fasting element to this too as well but don't if you're not into that don't do any of that kind of stuff as well that's just kind of something i want to add to the bonus of the 40 days. So yeah, that's kind of it. There's no preparation, starts Wednesday. You just have to do a sigil every day and complicate it as much as you want or keep it as simple as you want. And uh, pardon me, but I am uh, rifting a lot for some reason today. I haven't spoken for a few hours and then I just switched on the video camera and uh, 
it's sometimes you know it just you, you probably need to warm your voice up and i don't so yeah blog post in the show description if you want to um join the discord if you're not in it uh, already there'll be a, in, uh, a, an, ex an exclusive no there'll be a channel exclusively for it's not the word i'm looking for just for this anyway so if you want to post up your sigils or just talk about or ask questions or anything that's the place to do it so 40 sigils, 40 days, stealing the thunder from the Catholics or the Christians to uh, turn this period into uh, a bit of chaos magic, challenge type era, era, event. So, uh, yeah, good people of the internet, whether you do this challenge or not, I hope to see you soon, and uh, be well, and may our best days be ahead.